The five whys technique is a problem solving method that involves asking why over and over again, actually traditionally five times, to quickly drill down into the cause and effect relationship underlying a particular problem. It's best suited for simple or moderately difficult problems, meaning problems where cause and effect are relatively clear. Now, the core concept is that by repeatedly asking why at ever increasing levels of detail, you can peel away layers of symptoms and get to the root causes of a problem. This is basically a systematic approach to identifying the real problem. Now, in spite of its name, you do not necessarily have to take the number five as gospel. Five is just a guideline to help ensure a thorough analysis, but you can reduce it or increase it based on the complexity of the problem. Let me demonstrate how ChatGPT can help you implement this powerful technique while I'm explaining the rules. Let's give it the prompt starting as usual with the role I want ChatGPT to play. It's an experienced business analyst who's an expert in business problem analysis. Furthermore, I'm asking it to put on a coach hat to guide me through the five wise technique. I want it to be my coach. The interaction is going to be under my control. So once I've given it a problem to start with, I want ChatGPT to propose a potential cause. And well, to avoid going off the deep end, both ChatGPT and I have to agree that the suggested cause is realistic enough to start drilling down. At each level, ChatGPT will then pose the why question and also suggest a cause for that level. Now, in this example, I am limiting it to five levels. I also want to make sure ChatGPT understands my request before we dive in. By paraphrasing my prompt, the AI tool confirms its understanding. I'm satisfied with its explanation. Now, let's start with the execution. The initial step is to have a clear and concise statement of the problem. It has to be well expressed. For my example, I'd like to solve the problem Business analysts and stakeholders often misunderstand each other because there are errors in transferring the domain language. The first step in the five whys method is to ask why the problem happens, meaning think about the likely causes for the problem. And in response, ChatGPT appropriately poses the question, why are there errors in transferring the domain language between business analysts and stakeholders? And it offers as a potential cause there's a lack of common or standardized language or terminology used between business analysts and stakeholders. It asks me if I accept that as a likely cause. Now, given that I think the statement implies that the only solution to the initial problem, as stated, is to develop a common language, I disagree. ChatGPT graciously accepts my answer and offers an alternative potential cause as insufficient training or familiarity of the business analysts with the specific domain language of the stakeholders. I can accept that as a realistic cause, so I agree. The next step is to assume that the cause is correct and ask another why question at this level to see if you can identify the cause of that. Now here, ChatGPT adopts a clear and direct method, taking the identified cause, insufficient training or familiarity, and so on, and prefacing it with, why might there be? This tactic aligns with common practices among many business analysts, so it's understandable that ChatGPT would employ it. Such an approach minimizes the chances of misinterpreting the original cause and potentially confusing the stakeholder, which lends credibility to its use. ChatGPT proposes the potential cause of this. The business analysts may lack specific training or educational resources regarding the distinctive features of the stakeholder's industry or sector. I agree. We need to continue to drill down to the next level. Well, ChatGPT accurately implements this with, why have the business analysts not received specific training or educational resources about the unique aspects of the stakeholder's industry or sector? And it also offers the possible cause. There might be a lack of available industry-specific training programs or resources within the organization for business analysts. Here, I again disagree and explain that training programs are available but business analysts often don't have time to study them or they're too difficult to comprehend quickly. ChatGPT accommodates me and poses the level three questions. Why have the business analysts not engaged with the available industry-specific training programs or resources despite their availability? The possible cause it offers? The business analysts are often constrained by time limitations or, or find the training materials too complex and challenging to comprehend quickly. Oh, it's 
actually pretty much stealing my explanation here, so I really can't argue with that. Now, following the rules of the five whys further, my friendly AI coach poses the question, why are the business analysts constrained by time limitations or finding the training materials too complex and challenging to comprehend quickly? It posits the cause as the workload of business analysts is high, limiting their available time for training, and the training materials may not be designed for quick or easy comprehension. I couldn't agree more. Now, to get to the root cause, ChatGPT asks, why is the workload of business analysts so high that it limits their available time for training? And why might the training materials not be designed for quick and easy comprehension? One possible cause of this situation is the organization may prioritize immediate project deliverables over long-term skill development, and the training materials may be, they might be created without considering the practical time constraints and learning needs of business analysts. It asks me if I agree that this is the root cause of the problem, and I do. At this point, we both agree that there are no more why questions, so it's time to use our newfound knowledge as a springboard to find solutions. Now, technically, the five whys method uses the phrasing developing countermeasures that work to prevent initial problems and identified symptoms from happening in the future. Devising a solution to an issue might fix a single instance, but creating countermeasures focuses on addressing the system, environment, or process that led to the problem in the first place. In our example, we agree what the root causes of why there are errors in transferring the domain knowledge between business analysts and stakeholders in the organization. The organization prioritizes immediate project deliverables over long-term skill development and training materials are created without considering the practical time constraints and learning needs of business analysts. Given these root causes, I asked Chad GBT to complete the final step of suggesting possible countermeasures to address them. Note how it incorporates the disclaimer, the root cause you've agreed upon in this response. That sounds very human, kind of like typical CYA statement. In all seriousness, I do agree that the root cause involves balancing immediate project demands with long-term skill development and also adjusting training materials to be more accessible. Since that's pretty generic, it offers several concrete suggestions. Integrate skill development into the project timeline. Allocate specific hours or days within the project schedule for training, making it a uh, required component of the business analyst's regular duties. Tailor training material to be concise and relevant to current projects. This can mean creating shorter modules that focus on key concepts or skills needed for specific projects. Utilize microlearning techniques in which complex training content is broken down into smaller, more manageable units. That would make it easier for business analysts to learn in short, focused sessions without overwhelming them. Facilitate sessions where stakeholders share their knowledge directly with business analysts. This results in better understanding the domain language in a practical context. Pair business analysts with experienced mentors in their field. Mentors provide guidance, they clarify doubts, and they offer insights into effectively understanding and using domain-specific language. Adopt agile learning methodologies with iterative training that evolves based on immediate learning needs and feedback. This makes the learning process more dynamic and relevant too. Assess the current workload of business analysts to identify areas where it can be reduced or streamlined. This could free up time for training and development activities. Establish a feedback system for business analysts to share their experiences with the training materials, which would lead to continuous improvement in training content and methods. The five whys is particularly useful because it promotes critical thinking and it helps identify the underlying cause of a problem, which is often not immediately apparent. Now, this underlying cause, or what I call the real problem, is important because that is what the requirements you have to write have to resolve. Of course, you do have to make sure that your requirements also address all of the identified symptoms, which are probable causes at each level that the five whys technique revealed. As my final warning, Never consider the suggestions of ChatGPT or any other generative AI tool as the final answer. These tools make mistakes. They can hallucinate, which is AI speak for lying or inventing answers. Always take information you get from these tools as ideas or suggestions that need verification by qualified people. And in our example, the only people qualified to confirm or revise the suggestions would be the domain experts. Here it would be the business analysts in the organization in question. AI is not a substitute for personal knowledge and experience. It still needs the human touch.